real big sucky sucky dicky dicky you know what I'm saying that's right you know what I'm talking about that real sucky sucky dicky anyway hey guys what's up how's it going ah uh, you know who it is Nate Scadio here with some more food review and today we have oh my god there's grease all over the bottom of this uh, we have stuffed cheese it pizza from Pizza Hut, only at Pizza Hut. All right, so I didn't know anything about this, and one of my friends was like, hey, you know, there's this new thing that you really need to review, because I want to know how it is. And I was like, all right, what is it? And they told me, and I was like, oh, that sounds disgusting. Let's give it a shot. So here we are with our stuffed cheese at Pizza, only at Pizza Hut. Bottom, let's just, let's just cover it in grease. You see all that? See all that grease on the bottom? Just means it's got a, a lot of flavor. <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna open this bad boy up. And, well, they're a little smaller than I expected. I thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but they give you a side of marinara sauce, which is cool. A little, little dipping sauce. Make sure it's not gonna... Smells good. But the actual cheese it thing is, like I said, it's kind of small. It's it's not. I thought they were gonna be bigger than this. Um, so th it's like five ninety nine or something like that, or six six forty nine. I don't remember. Uh, it's probably different wherever you go. The, it, they smell like cheese its which is really weird. And so I got the pepperoni and cheese one because listen. I'm, I'm a big boy, and I need my meat, all right? Big boys need their meat. They can't just have this cheese-stuffed crap. They got to have their meat, all right? So I got the pepperoni, and uh, let's, let's, just, let's just break this bad boy open. That's... Oh, oh, that, that looks stale. <laughs> that looks real good. Oh man, you know, I was talking about how gross this was going to be, and I'm looking at the inside, and I'm like, man, this looks like it's been sitting out for about 10 days. But, you know, can't judge a book by its cover, right? Can't judge a stuffed cheese it by its crusted over cheese and looks like the pepperoni you get off of a dollar pizza from Walmart. But, you know, who's to say? Let's dip it in some marinara, and let's just dig right in, shall we? Um, you know, I'm not, I don't know how to feel about this. It's not, it's not bad. I thought it was going to be really gross. Maybe if mine was fresh it would be better, but this is definitely not fresh. You can actually, when I'm not dipping it in marinara sauce, so they actually did a good job of making it taste like a Cheez-It, which is surprising. Because I was not sure how you could kind of recreate that in like a, I don't know, this is probably something frozen that they send in and they just throw it in the oven if I had to guess they just pre-make it and that's the only way it would make sense the bottom is kind of baked on but dip in some more marinara it's definitely greasy and if you don't dip it in marinara you can taste the grease they come with four of them so you get four is this guy any better on the inside? nope Looks about the same. <coughs> so the marinara sauce is actually pretty good. I'm gonna, I don't know why. I'm not a Pizza Hut guy. I'm a Papa John's guy. Um, but their marinara sauce is not bad. I will give them that. The more I eat it, the more I can taste the cheese it, and I can't taste the pepperoni almost at all. It's basically non-existent. It tastes like a cheese it. 
And you can taste the cheese in it. Man, I don't know, this is super weird. Have you ever thought about dipping your Cheez-Its in marinara sauce? I'm not gonna lie. That thought has never occurred to me, ever. This is exactly what I'm doing, because this is, it tastes like a Cheez-It. It really does. It tastes just like a Cheez-It, like a really big Cheez-It that's not as crispy. It's kind of like softer and more doughy, kind of chewy sort of deal. But it also has this cheese in the center of it, so you get that double whammy of cheese. It's not bad. The texture is kind of like a soggy cheese, it though, soggy cracker. And the cheese in the center of it is fine too. It's not that bad. I don't know, man. It's really weird. I mean, I haven't stopped eating it. If that tells you anything. I'm also starving. That's why I went and got this, actually. I was like, two birds with one stone. I can eat and make a video. Yeah. Multitasking. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. We are going to have to get Lily's expert advice, aren't we? It's going to be a lot better than that crappy cereal, right? Here you go. See what you think of this. Oh, you. You're begging for it, aren't you? What you think? Vomits it on the floor. How is it? Vomits it on the floor some more. Good? Did you like it? She liked it. She dug it. Yeah, you want more, don't you? You're like, hey man, you know, that cereal, nah, but this stuff, I love me some cheese. So I'm not gonna lie, the grease, it's kinda making my stomach hurt. Like, I could eat one of these as a snack and be like, yeah, it was fine. The more I eat of it, the more I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm gonna puke. <laughs> and I don't stop eating it because I am a madman and I need my calories. I'm not sure what I expected, to be honest. I guess kinda like, well, at first I expected them to be bigger, but I mean, it's fine. All right, so, here's the deal. They're not bad. They're certainly not bad. But, you could get a medium pizza from Domino's cheaper if you do the two for five ninety nine or whatever. But still, you could get it cheaper, a medium pizza, cheaper. Domino's than this and that's this really wasn't a lot of food Price wise like it's not It's not like oh my god expensive. It's like seven dollars after taxes. It was like seven dollars and some change Ugh. It tastes like cheese it had cheese stuffed in it and It was very greasy you could taste the grease in it, which makes very little sense to me why it would be so greasy, but it was. Texture was kind of weird. It was not crunchy like a cheese. It was soft and chewy like a, like a, I don't know. It, it was like crumbly, but it wasn't crunchy. It wasn't like a potato chip or a cheese or a cracker or whatever. It wasn't like that, but it kind of was like, I don't know how to describe it. Flaky? Flaky might be the word. Um, but yeah, overall, better than I expected, but I really didn't expect anything from it. And I, I really didn't know at all what to expect um, going into this, because I was just like, I mean, Sounds weird. We'll try it. That's what we do here. <clears throat> and now you die. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, score wise, I give it like I'd probably give it like a six out of ten because 
I didn't hate it. It wasn't awful. Like I could eat it, I could sit there and eat it, but would I pay for it again? Mm, probably not, because it's not that good. Like, I, I could have spent that $7 on like an actual pizza and got more pizza, more food, and I don't know, like, Value is a big thing for me in this. Uh, value's hard to hard to press on this. Also, because the Cheez Its were in the box, I could not damage the box before it was empty. But now it's empty. And you know what that means. It's the moment you've all been waiting for, isn't it? The opening of the video is always me destroying these boxes, but now it's the end. Are you prepared? Are you mentally prepared for the torture that we're going to <laughs> inflict upon this box? I don't think you are. I don't think you're ready. And that does it for this episode of Food Review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye